everyone, Ammo here for more GeoGuessr. And last time we had like mostly European areas. Let's see if we can jump in. Maybe get some other places in the world. Not I don't love Europe, I'm learning about Europe. I like the I like some variety world. I like jumping all around the globe. GeoGuessr have a luxury in a game. That we're getting Okay, alright, some really weird artifacting here. I think my connection might be a little a little slow today. Internet connection. It happens, it's very strange. Anyway, where am I? Uh flat grass. Flattish grasslands? So grasslands. Temperate climate. Uh, roads. What's this house look like? That's not really telling me much architecturally. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not. Mm, don't have a strong indication of where we are yet. Maybe. Nope. No, no, no. Maybe. Oh, oh here's a sign. We'll have language on it. It says. Battle Creek Agency, real estate for sale. Okay, English. So, an English speaking country. Uh, so, I'm, now I'm thinking North America. The hilly grasslands, the climate. Not necessarily is North America, but I'm thinking North America. As of right now. Although, we're just on some dirt road. <laughs> this is not a well populated area. Oh, this is a very American road sign. Yeah. We're. White Tail Ridge B and B, the bed and breakfast. White Tail Ridge Road, no outlet. So we don't want to go that way. I just goes to the B and B is no outlet. Let's try to get off these dirt roads. Try to find a real road here, a paved road. I mean, not like dirt roads aren't real roads. Here we go. This is a real road, Magnus. Those are street names, aren't they? Should, man, this camera is really like tearing all the time. I guess that happens when you're trying to record things while you're driving around. Is there? What does that sign say? That sign might say something. Well, that might be the name of the road that's coming up. Let's go take a look at it. Figure out what state we're in, because we're North America. Not, not, okay. I clicked near Canada, we're not in Canada. Whitetail Ridge, nah. Whitetail Ridge, Ridge. B and B, the bed and breakfast. Not in the bed and breakfast. What was, wait a second, what was this? White patch on that hill? That was like a bird or something. Flying your pilots. Or is there civilization? I didn't start the timer. Hold on. Hold up. I get that timer going. Which way it looks like it leads to civilization? I'm going to guess. Let's go away from the wooded area. Maybe you'll find some town down here. Farmland. Ag agrarian place. Agrarian. Ag Agrarian. Gregarian. Not Gregarian. Make any sense? We're just mumbling while we pause and <laughs> while we uh get traveling. In a car, car, we already know what country we're in. United States. Almost certainly. Just because they're driving on the right side of the road. Do, 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 do. Hello, cars. Hello. A lot of farm, a lot of grassland, a lot of trees, and some hills. Which describes a large part, like, a lot of the United States has those features. What is that? Ooh, this might tell the state. This might go saying. Not close. Yeah, a little closer. Rushmore Cave, like Mount Rushmore, like like Rushmore. I don't know. If that's necessarily the same. I'm not sure Rushmore Cave is all related to mountain. So let's keep going. I lost my hint. So in the Dakotas. Yep. Keep, keep going. Keep going. South is that South Dakota Highway 40? Is that what it? Is that what that says? SD 40. That means South Dakota Highway 40. South Dakota Highway 40. Rushmore Falls. Rushmore was it? Rushmore Cave. Highway 40. Well, I have no idea like where Rushmore Cave could be in relation to Mount Rushmore the monument. Even maybe it's the same mountain thing. I don't know where the mountains are. Where are the mountains in South Dakota? No, they're they're in the country. <laughs> Not in the country, in the state. Where is South Dakota Highway 40? Does it have a highway symbol? Is it just like a road, county road kind of symbol? Then that that's different. I think if we just find there's only so many cities in South Dakota. It's not a densely populated state. We find a uh, 
up there. Find a city sign, road sign. Should be close. Here, no. No, look out the other national park area. A national grassland. Do, 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 do. Nope. Up here. Unless the grass grassland, so I think we're in the uh, around here, maybe around the Black Hills. Ogallala. I've been to Ogallala. I'm not. It's, it's getting sidetracked. We're not. We're not talking about Raskin areas. We're talking about South Dakota areas. South Dakota. You know, South Dakota is not that far north. Doesn't really. A lot of South Dakotans have that accent. So we're in somewhere nowhere of South Dakota. We are almost certainly in South Dakota. Junction 79. Oh, come on. Give me a better, give me a better view of this. That doesn't, wait a second. That doesn't look South Dakotan. Actually, it doesn't look like any state at all, I guess. I guess it is South Dakota. I mean, that's just, I really crammed in that sign there. It has a little tail and a little notch. And it's like really crammed in there. So Highway 79. So yeah, that just aren't South Dakota. It just looks really goofy on the sign. There's 79. So South Dakota Highway 40, but man, that's not an official thing on the map. Maybe, oh, there's 40. Be right here. Be around here. Let's go around there. Let's get make the guess. I'm conf confident enough to make the guess there. And, oh, we were two miles off. There, not really much around. <laughs> okay, we were there, and we, like, ended up down here. Oh, the Whitetail Ridge Bed and Breakfast. I guess I zoomed in a bunch. You could have seen that. I could put stuff over there. I'm not really. That's not something in this game that I'm like that I keep in mind. If I see a potential landmark like that, if it's sometimes it's on the map, and I can like keep that in mind to get really close. So I started the timer. Oh, this looks American. This looks American. So immediately I'm taking North America. Are we gonna have like a North America run? That sounds European run. We have North American run. Zooming on North America. Well, it's not strictly North America, but it seems like North America. And this seems. Uh, there's a lot of dead plants not telling me too much, because I can't really make out what they're supposed to be. Looks like it could be southern. In the southern United States. Not strictly so. I don't know enough. don't know enough about the plant life. To make any kind of strict statements. Can't be like, oh, that species of tree grows exclusively in Wyoming. So, no, nah, no way. Not any sort of expert like that. Hello, police. Is that even a police car? No, I think it's a white car. This is very, very North American. Very American, even. I even just strictly North America. Arapaho. Oh my goodness, I feel like that's a... That's a hint of that. Arapaho. Yeah, and this is southern as heck. So... That's a dry, that's a warm weather, dry climate. I think I'm running the south, maybe Florida even. Being somewhere kind of more tropical like that. And this looks like it could be Florida. Yeah, a lot of willows and kind of wet, humid, humid climate plants. I think in Florida right now. It's based off the just the plant life we have sitting around. Well, without a any further hints. Oh, Merry Christmas! And apparently, so it is. Oh, okay, so it's like certainly in the south because this is a bright, sunny, warm day, and we have Santa Claus out here. Although. It has been awfully mild winter here. I live in a state with bad winters, but it's been awfully mild. But still, as the Santa out there in this nice looking day makes me again think we're possibly in the south. It's not like everywhere else in the country always snows all the time when it's winter, but where did that bus school bus go? Did it really pass it that quickly as it stopped? Columbia. Like. Dis Columbia District Schools, like District of Columbia Schools, or is that because Columbia is not exactly a rare, a rare word? It's not a very unique area. This doesn't seem like we're in Maryland. If you're near Mar they're near Maryland, I guess. It's, hmm. Doesn't seem right. Nah, nah, nah. All right. Columbia District, just means school district. But I mean, it was worth entertaining, I thought. 
Southeast Baia. I think there's street names, right? Oh, this is a big road. Ooh, might find a hint. Run along here. What do you have? What do you have to tell me? Bragg's Auto Sales. Doesn't tell me that's just a dude's car sales shop. Country Club Plaza doesn't tell me anything. Anything here? North? Does that say Northeast Florida? Yeah, Northeast Florida. We are in Florida. Okay. And apparently in Northeast Florida. Jacksonville? Are we around Jacksonville? Might be around Jacksonville. I don't know for sure. That's where I'm, that's where I'm guessing right now. Time runs out. We're going to say around Jacksonville. Uh, well, we're not obviously. I don't think we're in Jacksonville. East Side Baptist. That's just a church. In, I look the other way. If I go down the other way, do there any more hints down there? Let's go jump down here. Uh, shh, nothing over there. Up there. Come on, jump around. It'll be really, real cute if I zoom down one of these areas near East Side Elementary. If I zoom down one of these areas near Jacksonville, I was like, hey, that's the street name. Awesome, we got it. Let's zoom in if we are near Jacksonville. Get a couple of the suburban areas: Orange Park, St. John's, Atlantic Beach. Just in case you see any anything referring to any of those. Virgin Dinner, nah, that doesn't help. Spring, no, I don't think that helps either. They're in Northeast Florida, at least. Dollar General, that certainly doesn't help. Dollar Generals are nationwide, I believe. Nationwide chain, which is a for sale sign. I've got narrowed, I got narrowed down pretty far. Our east side. Say east side. Does east side? Doesn't really tell me much. Unless we're on the east side of Jacksonville. Unless that's what they're referring to. But we're not even necessarily in Jacksonville. Like we could be anywhere else. So not sure. Oh, hello. Those are signs though. Yeah, back it up. Beep beep. One hundred. One hundred. So let's look for one hundred. They're at one hundred in in Jacksonville. Around Jacksonville. It's obviously a lot of roads around Jacksonville. Are any of them 100? Not seeing a 100. Not seeing a 100 at all. What about other cities near Jacksonville? How about just a 100? Oh no, is everything falling apart? Are we not actually in Northeast? There's no way we're not in Florida. We're obviously in Florida. And it said Northeast, there's 100. 100 East West, so we could be, but that's, I mean, long highway. Well, we found Stark. Let's just say we're in Stark for now. And, hmm. Anything else around here? No, let's keep looking for hints. Let's. It's Highway 100. Oh, there's our timer. Alright. Timer's done. Stop, stop. I know what to stop. Shh. Alright, timer's done. Uh, let's look for like a last second clue. Do I see anything? My immediate cone of vision. That's just uh, 100. Already found. Those were stark, but I mean, it's a long road. It could be in Butler, it could be in Lake City. All right, if we. You know what? This seems good. It seems like hedging our bets. Even for Lake City, we're not super duper far away. Kind of in the middle. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take this guess. Time went off, and I'm comfortable enough for this. We're 34 miles away. Hey, we're in Lake City. All right. So, obviously, we've been better there, but I had no hard evidence we're in Lake City. But I zoomed in. It's not loading. Come on. So if I zoomed in, is there anything I would have seen that gives it away right away? Not particularly. Seeing one of these highways would have been really good. I guess we're getting it close enough. Yeah, we're over here in this little, right at the edge of the town. We're just getting to the outskirts of the town over here. And there, I don't remember any street names. So then, yeah, 100 over here. But that was pretty, the subway. There's the subway. But all right, that was, that was, that was good. That's still a fine round. So round number three. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume we're in North America. See if we get this like all North America stuff started. Okay, a lot of trees. Really bad resolution camera. That huh? Concerning these cameras. Wow, wow, this is low resolution camera. I don't know where we are, and it's a really cloudy day. Well, it looks yeah, these look like temperate, temperate trees, temperate climate. A forest, evidently somewhere. 
<laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this structure? It's just a. It's just stairs and a wall. Yeah, no, okay, okay. It's not a wall. It's just really bad. Okay, it just looks like a wall there. These are obviously tanks. Okay. Wow, I was really concerned. I thought it was just like a big gray cement wall with stairs leading up. To, stairs leading up to. I was concerned. We, what is? What are these? What the? Where are we? <laughs> what is this, like big rest of tanks laying around? Road looks well paved though. Nice enough. We have a North American looking sign. Oh my! Should we in like backwoods of some southern state? <laughs> not to be. I'm in southern. This could be anywhere. Oh, there's a very densely wooded area with just stuff laying around inside the road. There's all that stone retaining wall. Kind of old. Signs look American. So don't seem like European style signage. That doesn't seem like European style signage. I don't know what's wrong with my grammar when I speak speak to myself in these videos. Mm. These houses don't scream to me anything. Seem American, but could be something else. I keep getting turned around. This is really it's a weird, weird place we're in. This is actually kind of rough. Oh, okay, that's super American. Let's say miles per hour. I think it says miles per hour. I assume it says 25 miles per hour. I'm pretty sure we're in North. We are at least in the United States again. We might actually be in the United States again. I just have not a clue where. It doesn't look familiar, and I'm not seeing any info. And the resolution is just poopy. We have really bad camera resolution here. Google cars, how dare you? What is this? What does this sign say? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I can read it. Nope. Oh, is that like a highway sign or something? Like an actually helpful road sign? Kind of looks like it's supposed to be. There's no way I can read that. That's. Huh, oh, that's awful. Maybe with experience I can learn where certain places have bad. have had bad cameras recorded with old iPhones or whatever. I'm pretty sure when they did this to Google Car, instead of having the camera apparatus on top, they just had the dude hold his cell phone out the side of the car. And they just took the data off that. That's how they made these composite images. Until they actually got the cameras on top of the cars. Because these are so bad. Count the pixels. So, we need a big sign that we can actually... Oh, come on. We need like a large sign that we can actually read to the low resolution. Or some other obvious marker of where we are. It's all I know is a wooded area, but there's lots of trees in North America. Or, I mean, no, we're not in Canada, it was a miles per hour sign. Uh, yeah, I mean, trees, doesn't, that doesn't tell me, um, oh, the United States kind of, kind of wide. <laughs> there's just a lot of places we could be. There's water. Nice little lake. Hmm. Oh, not some dudes in this building. You gotta hurry up and get out, out of here. Out of this nowhereness. 45 miles per hour cur curve. Don't. Why did I didn't tell you to turn? Backwards? What happened? I zoom past the curve, now I'm gonna all turn around. The camera's goofy. It's a nice, it's a lovely place. There's a hills? Hilly grass, yeah, hilly trees, and it just doesn't tell me anything. Not enough, at least. That could apply to. A large area. Hmm. Oh, give me a hint. Give me a sign. Legible sign. I did go backwards. Is that lake again? Gosh, dang it. Game with your... Yeah, like, don't turn the camera. Just go forward on the road. Thank you. Keep going. Need to find... Yeah, there we go. Get back to where we were. A hint of where we are. Hopefully we can find, like, a proper... A uh, bigger road with better resolution, at least. And to be straight up, not gonna lie, I didn't realize I had a compass over here. That would have been helpful in a lot of runs, having a compass. Is a full screen mode? We can go straight at full screen? Well, that would have been good too. Let's allow. Allow GeoGuessr to be full screen. What is this? Turn to start. Oh, I didn't know you could do that either. <laughs> I, was just, I was having so much fun, didn't look at the options. But what is this? What do you, what do you have for me? That's just a roadwork sign. Turns. Oh man. Oh no no no. Oh no no. Is the resolution getting worse somehow? I've seen very little that gives any hint of where we are. Very little. 
and the things like that can possibly help us. Is that a sign? No, it's just, it just looked like a sign. It wasn't a sign. It was an illusion made by the house and the trees. Oh, oh, are we coming up? No, these are just more dilapidated structures. Um, a uh, <laughs> gross rainy day, which makes it just look just terrible. Up forward. Don't turn the camera, just move forward. Oh, there's our alarm. Huh. How do we... What, what do we what do we do here? Is that a sign? Is that a sign I can read? Can I at least get a state. It's just the back of the turning sign. Ugh. One more just a clue. A small clue to the state. This is a rough we're just really in the middle mode. What kind of car is that? Jeep. That's what's telling me. Nothing. We're in somewhere that has an autumn changing leaves. These are falling, makes a little north, it's not super far south. Uh, tch, tch, tch. Oh, so many places it could be. Washington, Oregon. I could just go like, yeah. Oh, oh, is this a sign? A <laughs> uh, church, of some kind. I can't read anything. This resolution is awful. All right, all right. We're somewhere poorly populated. We are central or northern. I think not necessarily, but I think somewhere not densely populated, uh, but there's a lot of old structures around. So a lot of not old structures around, but not a lot of farmland either. It doesn't look like a lot of agriculture going around. Hmm. So keep balance between like northeast, northwest. I don't think we're north. Are we northwest? That's a new house. Uh. Northeast, somewhere like middle of nowhere, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire. Where else could we possibly? Where could we possibly be? Well, of course, this isn't true. We might end up in like Tennessee or something. I don't think so. Oregon. Yeah, we might be in north. The northwest. Oh, this seems a, could be a little north. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck between northwest and northeast. If I find any clue to help us. All right, I think I might just have to like any mini mighty mo. Are we in the northwest or northeast? I honestly don't know. Seems to be a different road. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Probably a great hint right here. I can't. Can't read it. Matt. Matt. Nope. Nope, that's just a collection of pixels loosely maybe forming letters. Huh. Man, this game's hard to have like no resolution. Can't read a thing. North. East. Eastern. Okay, I'm going northeast. I feel this. Is, I don't know why. I'm feeling northeastern. That's the hunch I'm going with right now. Let's go northeastern. I don't see any more hints. This doesn't seem. Oh man. Okay, well we can't. We just have to go. Well, at least we're in the right country, I guess. Uh, middle of nowhere. We're we in New. We're not in New York. Like that's really far north. That seems not that far north. Maybe Pennsylvania. We're we in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Go Pennsylvania. Doesn't feel right. None of this feels right. None of this feels right at all. Because I have no evidence for where we are. North Dakota? No. Yeah. Now I'm second guessing myself even harder. Where we could be. There's a lot of trees. The old wooded area. So I don't think we're anywhere necessarily in central United States. Not too much natural. Well, natural grassland in central United States. It's just trees. It's just trees and nothing. We're not even... Oh, now these plants don't even look too northern. Oh, it's hard to tell because the resolution is just pixels. just green pixels. Ah. Okay, this one's... This one's... Alright, I think we're done. I think this one's pretty much... The limit. Radar enhanced speed limits. Alright, I'm going to stick to... What's the sign say? Can we get this sign at least? Can we get one sign that's actually legible? Out of this off camera. Somethingville. Harrisville. Harrisville? Horrisville? Harrisville. Harrisville? Harrisville? Harrisville. Harrisville. Did I say Harrisville? I can't even really tell. This is Harrisville. 
Was this Harrisville? Are we in Harrisville? I don't know where Harrisville is. Let's go, like, maybe not that far north. Let's go, like, West Virginia. How about that? Okay, fine. We'll do, like, West Virginia. Um, West Virginia. Let's do, like, I don't know. Just, uh, there. Right there. I'm, we're looking around. We tried our best. I'm sorry. Wow. We were 50. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Seriously? We're in West Virginia? We're only 50 miles away? Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for that one. Got really close. That was really mostly lucky, yes. I didn't feel that far north. I had no idea, but we were on the east. All right. It seemed it seemed a little Appalachian, at least. Okay, I had the, it felt a little, at least a little Appalachian. Just, you know, West Virginia isn't strictly Appalachian. Oh, yeah, it was Appalachian. Okay. But I'm surprised we actually got that close. I'm <laughs> immensely surprised with that little information. So another six minutes. This is our last round. Four out of five. No. Let's we'll start. And immediately assign. Let's go around the topography first. Plant life and such. Biology. And of course, as, as usual, <laughs> it's not giving me a massive amount of information because I don't know enough about stuff. It's kind of the difference between tropical and temperate. It looks a little more temperate, at least right now. Maybe a little arid. A lot of dry grass going around. Of course, that could just be consequence. Looks like that was uh, recently cut, or maybe it was a field and was harvested. What's the sign saying? The language off the sign. Vente a la ferme. Domin uh, some romance language. Vente is that Italian? A la ferme. Italian or French? I don't think it's Spanish. Could be Spanish. I don't think it's Spanish. La is that Italian? I mean Italia. Some area in Italy. Yeah, I feel like we go. If it is Spanish, it could be in South America or Mexico or it's Portuguese. I don't know the difference between Spanish and Portuguese. But right now I'm thinking towards Europe, which means our North America run has been spoiled. Three out of the five is North America. That's good though. Pretty good score so far. Especially thanks to that super lucky West Virginia guess. Hot Nuth. Nuth? Hot Nuth? Seems a little more French to me. Of course, not strictly so. Of course, I don't speak these languages. So just like, well, that kind of sounds like something a French person would say, which seems really. It feels really ignorant when I do that, but I don't really have a choice going off the information available to me. Shant. Shant. I don't think I told you anything I can use. What does the sign say? What does the sign say? Well, that's just the same, right? The DuPont? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, DuPont North. Route. DuPont North. Ah, uh, so what country are we in? That says that's English. isn't that French? Do we find out France has English stop signs? Although unless stop is also French, cognate. I don't I don't know, I don't think so, but it could be. So right now I'm leaning towards France. Doesn't Yeah, yeah, I can imagine this being France. Point five tons. So I don't know. Imagine there's all this data, at least since I see them, like if I knew more. About the countries, about the continents, about a lot of stuff that could help me more than it already should. Oh, see some of these signs. Hopefully, get one of those good old EU highway signs. You can just find that on the map. Although France is awfully big, of course. That might be a rough. Tomatoes? That's all I see there. I Made mean, tomatoes. Going. Shoes, looking for signs. Signs for major roads, you really. Oh, oh, that looks like one. We're getting in there. Is it a D road? Sign for a D. The D to a oh, Petit Giguet in Guelme. Okay, come on. This is. Seems super French. They're going to France. So. Uh, the D12. And a couple. They don't seem like the huge towns. None of these towns are up and out of me. That's things that I recognize. So being a not being familiar with French cities are the spot. Vale, Lanzac, Matters, Petit Guiguet. 
Inguelme. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. And the D12 is like a tiny road. Like the D's, we zoom in. Right? The D's are small roads. Are there no D's in France? Am I completely off? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I swear, Fran said the small D roads. I just see small end roads. Oh no, EU, why are you doing this to me? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, they are just real small. Okay, that's what I thought. It was a slight panic attack. Yeah, like they're real tiny. It's like just straight up regular roads. County roads and such. So that's. Ooh, it's gonna be hard. I don't know where these towns are. Which makes this hard. Because there's, of course, lots of towns in France. It's a large and old country. A lot going on. I think I can just, just hunt and peck for it. Can you find a large city or a large road? Because I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're just wasting, wasting time here. Get out of your map. Uh, which one's closest? Two miles? If we get to a town, oh, D41. So D2, D41, D1? No. Has to be like an artifact. D12, okay. D12, no, D41. If you can find a town, the town might have a sign for a larger road or a larger city nearby. Just the name of the creek or something. Yeah, probably. Lush Road. So. D21. I almost forgotten. D12, D21. 41? Oh no, I've forgotten already. I just looked at the sign like three seconds ago. So we're in the country of France. Don't know where in France. Know exactly where in France. This is wow, what the heck? Oh, this is actually super cool. It's like a carved into the hold on, I'm admiring this alarm. It's like carved into the hillside here. That's hide skin that's not French. Get out of here. That is that's a really cool little building right there. But I want... Okay, we might just have to... Might be another guess here. We don't find a, a sign here. A larger sign for a larger town or road that I can identify quicker. Smaller ones. Yeah, what do you have for me? Well, there's a sign right here. I have to be on wrap it up mode. Cause I thought... Did I just pass the sign? Yeah, right here. Is it D12? D12? I don't know what that little line through the sign means. Oh, oh, does this mean, oh, that's actually, so that must mean I'm we're leaving the town, and this is, I'm going into the town, so it's like the town boundaries of the city, the city limits. It's really, really interesting, it's really cool, I didn't know that. Well, that's what I assume, I don't know if that's 100% true, but that's, that's what I assume is going on. And I turn myself around now, kind of this way. Going petite, 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 you get? Yay. I, of course, don't speak French, so pronouncing the words a little harder. And these are signs for. Is that the thing we passed earlier? That cool building? I think it was. Oh, oh, here we go. This looks like. At Le Bourne. Get yeah, Montebero D674. Leburn. Leburn? Kind of. Kind of screen torn right there. Leburn. Is that way. Okay. Leburn. Uh, uh, still a lot of towns in France. France is still a big place. We're out of hints, and also uh, D six seventy four. Only found one of the larger road signs. The A's and the E's easier for us to figure out. Um, he, Laborn, and Petit Giget, Bayal Giget is Giget. Is that Giget? I feel like it's a hymn scene on. I was like, that's a region, a town. Suffix is common in a region or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I need to study some French. This game some more. A little bit more about the country, at least. Is it large enough to throw us off? Point wise, for way off base on the guess. And Quern. There. Anvil. Auto. Because it could be, I don't know where the region we're in. I don't know if we're in northern, southern, whatever, France. This could be, to me, I don't see anything particularly sticking out to tell us that it's maybe central-ish. This looks like it could be central France. 
and I don't think tell me otherwise. And then Central France is, you know, kind of hedging your bets against it being far north or far south. And Andorra. I was thinking about this the other day. Like the tiny, tiny country between France and Spain. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can't find the story. City names. Born. Born. Can't find it. Also can't find any Gigets or any Montmeros. It's a Montbrison. Yeah, Montmero. It's like a weird, crazy word search. And I'm not finding it, so let's wrap it up. Let's say we're near near Lyon. That sounds fine. Going near Lyon. At 220 miles, that's not awful. We're on the opposite side. Right, that was like right, uh, right latitude here. Pacific Lion around Anguelme? Anguelme? I'm sorry, where's Art? Now there's the Voyelle Gige. Gige? Oh man, Gige? 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 It's not a hard T though. Zoom real in, there's D. Yeah, 670, 14, 12. Yeah, but those don't show up till you're so zoomed in, so. That was alright. I mean, that could have been way worse. I'm okay with that one. We, we, we used what we had. So let's start the last timer for the last round. And throw teams European. Oh, yep, okay. Deep six. Ooh, these seven. Oh, 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 those green sevens. That looks really familiar. Where have I seen those before? Have I seen those in Sweden? Where am I? I lost track on the globe there. Sevens. It was Norway? It was Norway? Did Norway have those green? Something had those green. Seven roads, like right there. Does that count? That's kind of a shield. Is that Finland? Hopefully, I'm not getting like too thrown off by these. These are like green shields. I haven't really shields, kind of just upside down triangles. I swear I've seen the, that, that green seven nonsense around. But, but where? What country had them? Or was it, and was it multiple countries that had them? Where am I in Russia? Okay, let me go over there in Russia. Seven, seven, sevens. What had the sevens? And are they big enough roads for me to actually see from this far out? Ah, uh, swear I've seen this before. Where have I seen them? That doesn't seem okay. Language wise, there's umlauts. I don't understand these characters. It's definitely like a Germanic. Looks like a Germanic thing. North European stuff. There's a, there's a blues over here in where we Denmark. Green though. Not seeing it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm misremembering. Yeah, I saw it once, and I'm thinking of these. A lot of time I'm kind of wasting around. What might be a red herring? Limbs are going all the way down in Greece, even. Uh, No, that's not the same. Huh. Well, as we go off the language, I feel like we're more north. Oh, we're not necessarily not strictly. Ugh. Ick. Ick, ick, ick. Are we back in Poland? So, so. I feel like I should. I feel like this is such a big hint I'm missing out on. Like, not just a hint, like, hey, idiot, this is obviously in this one place. So that's what I'm feeling right now off that. That's what that's telling me. You stop wasting time looking at the map. We keep going and try to find our own way. Find our own way in the world. Get out of your map. Okay, so I feel like we're in a uh, more Germanic region. Maybe more north. Norway, Sweden. Finland doesn't seem Finnish. I think it's was Finland. It doesn't look super Finlandy. Of course, my own experience being Finland from this game, so of course, <laughs> most of the things I say I could be way off base, but that's just what I'm thinking. What does the sign say? Ooh, this could be helpful. This could be real helpful. This is incredibly helpful. Is that? Oh, come on. The E71 and the M7. Budapest. <gasps> Budapest. Okay. All right, we're near Budapest. The problem is, Budapest will be mine where Budapest is. Where's Budapest? I know it's embarrassing. I know it's a, it's a place I should know. Buda What's Budapest, actually. Isn't Budapest? Pardon? 
am I thinking of? Budapest. Should be. Well, I can't remember what Budapest is. Where it is, I should say. Budapest. Come on, I know it's not exactly. Budapest is exactly a small unknown thing here. Here it is, Hungary. Okay. It's Hungary. I'm like, I know it's a big East European city. Why Why is this off? Okay, so. Doesn't doesn't seem to tell me where it's off. Oh, that's seven. Also, okay. So these little green shield things is that is that Hungarian? Is that where the little green shields are found? Are they okay? Well, let's go to a neighboring country. Let's go to Slovakia. Let's zoom in. Let's see little and green little green shields in Slovakia. I'm so wondering if those little green shields are like Romania has little red shields around. Yeah, like those towns. I'm wondering if those little green shields are a similar thing for Hungary. Let's look at some. Let's look at neighboring neighboring countries. No, they don't have it. Any any green little green shields? I don't think it. So now the green shields suggest me now Hungary. It's like Serbia and Slovakia, Croatia, Bosnia. Do you have them? And no one else seems to have little green shields. I think the little green shields might be a Hungarian thing, which helps us a lot. And we're okay. Sea folk, some Bardi. Is it 300 meters from Budapest? Is that what it's telling me? Is it all these 300 meters away? What am I missing here? Somewhere around Budapest. Um, I still have time to look for a town. It's a closer town is towards Budapest. I'm going to match up the names of the languages that I can't read very well. Uh, looking for this this Siofok. Siofok. Or is the Zamardi? Which I know that's not actually how they're pronounced. I'm just translating the characters I can't pronounce as well into English. Um, hmm. Well, right now we're going to guess around Budapest. I don't know what side of Budapest. M7 E71. Are we somewhere with the M7 E71 are? Okay. So maybe more. It's E7. This is M71. Are we like in Zverkuskrvar? But then I don't see that. Edge our pets again, kind of zoom, get up closer. Do the best in case we're further away. Okay, I need to. That's a Marty. Oh, no, don't make numbers happen. Okay, hold on. If we can get these on blur here. E71, M7. But what? It goes two different ways for. Between Zomardi and. Do the best. I'm not seeing a, that town. I need to find. Not down here, it's not over here. But we're at least around Budapest, we know that. I'm going to guess yeah, this southwestern area of Budapest. A little bit southwest of Budapest. Let's go. Make the guess. And we were forty miles away, we were more southwest. Right. So there's Sea of Folk. Okay, if I just went further down we've seen it. What is ooh, what's this what's the body of water called? I have a name, or is it called Balaton? Okay. Well, it's the border of the counties. Right, goes right through that lake. All right, that's pretty good. And 23. That might be our highest score yet. Really helps that three of them are in the United States, and we got very close on all three. And then we actually figured out France. That was probably our worst one on the opposite side of France. But when we found Budapest, that was a big hint. Like finding one of those big cities like that's dead giveaway. We find Budapest. Like, oh, obviously we're in Hungary. We find you know Liechtenstein. Oh, hey, well, Liechtenstein. Is I guess that's kind of cheating because like, within science is big, <laughs> so that's not a city, of course. But you, you know what I mean. You find like a capital city, you got it, or just a big famous city. Like you find Munster, you find capital, you find Warsaw, you find one of those capital cities that gives it away really easily. But that was probably our highest score, and mostly Europe and North America. I haven't been. I don't know if we've ever been. We've been to, had New Zealand once. I don't think we've ever had any Australian. Or Asian, I had like one Japan drop once. I don't think we've had much going on over here in the far east, so to say. Or I don't know. I also don't know what countries, what areas do not have Google Maps in them. Like what areas cannot be available. So like I would assume North Korea doesn't have any Google Maps going on. But I don't know for sure what in the world has Google Maps coverage and what doesn't. But anyway, that was our Geo guess a run for the day. I think it went pretty well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, whatever. You guys know the deal. I'll see you next time.